nice quiet moment on my street. <clears throat> I live in one of the noisiest places. Nice quiet street on the first floor with a window facing the street, not double paned, not insulated. You hear everybody, everything, all the people walking by, everything they say. Uh, it's a tiny little place walls inside of the walls built in 19 before 1920 so there's nasty dirty everything downstairs and seeping in and whatnot and then plus they threw whatever they threw in there on us and uh, it's wonderful I got a migraine headache because for the last several days people have been spraying me with cologne perfumes and uh, uh, for some reason something that the, the guy in the house that we rent from has taken to putting Glade air freshener things that spray every several minutes even though I begged him and pleaded with him to please not use them because they make me sick and offered to buy him you know, other alternative things like cedar oil or tea tree oil or whatnot and you know Pedro's always cleaning, washing, spraying so this it always smells like bleach or soap or something clean and he's always complaining about how much we stink and da 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 It's non-stop complaining in this place. The, the, the ex-wife is living here. She's a, a heavy-set woman, to put it nicely, who from Dominican Republic, who from what I hear, complains a lot. Uh, the daughter is also heavy-set with some emotional disturbance problems. Um, it's kind of a long and sad story. I'm not going to tell it here, not now, but um, together the two of them seem to spend a lot of time complaining uh, in Spanish. And perhaps it's just me. Maybe they're not. I don't speak the language, so they could be talking about flowers for all I know. But, you know, the, the looks that I get and the, the way this woman jumps out of the way, like I'm, I'm a, a leper, you know, and like the roach poison in my food and the every other, it's like everything points to hatred and you know, she cut the cord on the coffee machine with a knife twice and burned a hole through the knife you know like you know, I'm the schizophrenic one um, so you know I know I complain a lot but I'm under extreme duress you know these people, whoever they were, are, have done things, are doing things to us. We've been exposed to and are exposed to all kinds of nanomaterials, possibly, uh, some kind of crazy disease. And then we're covered in jumping, biting, microscopic insects that seem unkillable. We've tried every over-the-counter preparation, uh, toxin, and, you know, herbal. It's like we spent thousands of dollars, like every penny we had ever saved basically went to killing this. And it's not stopped. It's not stopped. It's for years. It's killing us. And, you know, and now my brain is damaged because of this crap. Um, and I'm getting terrible migraine headaches. My teeth are all falling out. Just went for the dentist and they want to take them all out. It's like, oh God, please, no. Dentistry to me is a barbaric uh, medical profession that in the 21st century should no longer be necess necessitated since we're making nanomaterials and synthetic biology that can do such amazing things. Why can't it fix your teeth without pain? Grow new ones. I mean, that's the kind of technology that's being developed now. You know, DARPA's working on an immune system that will heal, you know, like a, you lose your arm, it'll grow back kind of stuff, you know. Um, this is for real. Uh, this is, nanotechnology is changing the face of the earth. And it's going to change the way the human race is enslaved. And let's face it, folks, we're not free ever have been, and uh, until humanity wakes up to the truth, whatever that is, and gets it 
himself right with his creator, whoever that is, and with each other. I don't know if we're ever going to be free. The counselor told me once, hey, put somebody in a large enough cage and give them enough choices, and they'll think they're free. Anyway, God has been good to me while simultaneously allowing people to beat me on the head. Um, and I'm grateful for everything, even though I complained a lot. And, So we're, you know, and I, I don't even want to reveal anything anymore. I'm like, uh, so stuck in stasis. These people have me, like, neutralized, you know? Like, uh, I can barely type sometimes. I have uh, these panic attacks or agoraphobia. Anytime I go outside, I'm like, PTSD symptoms and brain shuts down. It's, it's, uh, and, and to um, reprogram oneself from such heavily induced and reinforced negative thinking is difficult to say the least. To find the balance between reality when it's truly bad news and you know, positive thinking is also a difficult thing because I'm losing the ability to prioritize or something, decide things. Intention tremor, I stand staring at things for a while, like I can't figure out what I, what do I really want, what's important, what's, you know, um, I get overwhelmed easily now. I always have, but now it's like, you know, clinically significant uh, and dis de de debilitating um, and the inability to decide what to throw away or how to tackle a task or, or you know and the panic attacks and I take this medicine that makes me go to sleep so I never even do the task you know and I even remember what it was